So Deontay Wilder finally got fed up with all the Eddie Hearn rubbish of Dillian White getting ducked by Wilder. And he exposed Dillian White and Eddie Hearn by saying, I offered Dillian White different paths to get to my title and get a title shot. And he declined on more than one occasion. And I personally co-signed that because I reported on all the offers or the paths that Deontay Wilder offered to Dillian White to get to the title shot. But Dillian White obviously didn't follow through because he felt like the path was too dangerous for the title shot that Deontay Wilder was suggesting at the time. And Eddie Hearn, on the other hand, he was too focused on his golden boy and now that he lost his golden boy and he got knocked out, which is Anthony Joshua, now he want to focus on Dillian White uh, as a, a backup plan because obviously Anthony Joshua got knocked out by Ruiz and he could possibly get knocked out again in a rematch. So now he's trying to secure a title shot for Dillian White. But back in the day when Wilder tried to fight and did everything in his power to fight and Anthony Joshua and Anthony Joshua did everything in his power at the time to duck Wilder and he ducked him like five times Wilder at the time told Eddie Hearn give me the Anthony Joshua fight guaranteed and I fight Dillian White and right after that I fight Anthony Joshua obviously Eddie Hearn declined then Wilder told Dillian White, hey, you want a title shot? All you got to do is fight Ortiz. That's right after Anthony Joshua knocked out Parker. Or not, he didn't even knock out Parker. He won a unanimous decision or a split decision. And then, Dillian White, instead of fighting Ortiz, he fought Parker coming off a loss. And the WBC mandated that fight. Again. And he still declined that fight. So Wilder was like, to each his own then. You really don't want the fight. You keep doing your own thing. He could have fought Brazil. And if he would have won that fight, he would have been the number one mandatory. But obviously, he chose not to. And then Brazil ended up getting the title shot. Which Dillian White could have been in that position if he followed through what Wilder was telling him to do. And even before that, Ortiz called him out a third time. Tried to make a fight with him. And Dillian White... Yet declined again and ended up fighting Jasur again in a rematch that no one wanted to see. And he even struggled with him and was losing the fight and ended up landing a knockout blow in the 11th round to stop Jasur. So at the end of the day, Dillian White been doing his own thing. Now he gonna come around and talk about Wilder's avoiding him. Are you serious, bro? Man. Dylan you White be talking so much rubbish, it don't even make no sense. You see Ortiz getting another title shot and another crack at Wilder. And yet again, if Dylan you White actually fought Ortiz, the same fighter he claimed that is too old and it's too washed, but he stays on ducking him, he would have been in Ortiz's position right now and he would have been the one that's fighting Wilder next. However, he chose not to and he ducked Ortiz again because Ortiz obviously got him shook. He's scared to look at Ortiz's direction. For good reasons, obviously, because Ortiz will definitely stop Dillian White. And Wilder, he might put him in a coma with his sloppy style. So, who are we kidding at the end of the day? I mean, you better be glad you ain't fighting Wilder. Because that's an easy money fight for Wilder, really. And Wilder really should have fought Dillian White. Instead of Ortiz, because that's a hard task, man. Ortiz, that's a dangerous fight. The rematch is a dangerous fight for Wilder. And he could have been uh, fought a Dillian White and took an easy path and just knocked this bum out back to the UK. I mean, just picture this. Picture a perfect picture. Now, picture Deontay Wilder in that. Now, picture the knockout of the century. Now, picture Dillian White in that. So at the end of the day, Dillian White finna get stressed when he fight Deontay Wilder. And Wilder said he cannot wait to fight Dillian White. For all the rubbish they've been talking, for suing him, this and that. When he been ducking and the WBC been manda mandating him to fight Ortiz for the longest. 
and he declined every single time. But now he gonna talk about Deontay Wilder avoiding him. I mean, ain't nobody avoiding no Dillian White. If Anthony Joshua knocked him out the way he did, and he got good power at the heavyweight division, like I said, Deontay Wilder, man, he finna put him in a coma. That's all I could picture, really. So subscribe below if you're trying to get smarter by the minute. If you're trying to get dumb about a second, don't listen to Eddie Hearn. And if y'all like the boxing memes that y'all see in my videos, follow Latoon Boxing on Instagram. Also, follow Aki TV on Instagram and subscribe to Aki TV on YouTube. Peace, and we out of